What's up everyone? So today I'm going to talk about my frustration with Honda's system called the VCM or Variable Cylinder Management. Um, on Honda and Acura products, if you have a V6 engine and you have a VCM system, what it does is when you're going on like a part throttle situation or like a low load and you're just cruising, the computer will shut off actually three or three, yeah, three to two uh, engine cylinders. So your V6 is most likely gonna be running on either just four or three cylinders. And then normally, you know, for fuel economy savings, this might not be a big deal. But what happens is when your computer shuts down three of those cylinders and you're running on just three cylinders now, you get some nasty vibrations um, just throughout the whole car. Um, when I first experienced this, I thought that, you know, my steering wheel was out of balance or I hit something. Um, the car just shakes so bad. And when I um, originally bought the car, um, the V6 was so much smoother than the inline 4. And then that's what I bought it for the power and the smoothness. But with the VCM, you know, you're always running into situations where the cylinders are getting cut out. And then, so if you want to like quickly pass someone, you have to re engage the cylinders. Um, so there's a slight delay there. And then if you're just kind of cruising normally, then you're running into a situation where it's so uncomfortable because you're, you know, the car is just shaking and you can feel it through the seat, uh, through the steering wheel, uh, through the pedal. It's, it's just not like a luxury feeling anymore. Um, so um, I found this really annoying and I hate the fact that you cannot turn off the VCM through any of like the uh, menus or vehicle settings. Um, and I feel like that's a huge downfall. Acura, Acura and Honda should at least, you know, give you an option to disable that. And then, you know, I think the fuel economy savings from shutting down cylinders is, you know, very minor. Um, I don't think it's worth it. If you're looking for fuel economy, you should have just, you know, got the four cylinder version from the beginning. Um, the V6 as is, you know, provides decent highway MPGs. I break into the 30s on road trips. Um, so, you know, fuel economy is not a downfall of this big engine. Um, so I, I, yeah, overall, I just hate the whole VCM feature. So thankfully, there are some products um, on the market that can disable VCM. Um, so what I did, um, I bought something called VCM Tuner. Uh, there's a few systems out there. I think one's called like SVCM or VC Muzzler um, was the original product out there. So what this uh, harness does is it plugs into your uh, coolant temperature sensor. And what that does is this thing, when you plug it in, it reads the signal and it sends a new false signal to the computer. So your VCM only kicks in at a specific temperature range once the engine is warmed up. So this harness, it fools the computer into thinking that the engine coolant um, hasn't reached optimal temperature yet and it's still cold. So by you know doing that, it'll disable VCM and it'll never kick in. So hopefully, you know, that'll just make you know driving a lot more smoother. Um, you know, you'll have power all the time and the car will feel like what you know it should be feeling like from the factory. And then so there's a couple of versions of these on the market. Um, some of these just plug directly in line and it uses some type of um, you know resistance to kind of fool um, the range that the sensor will be picking up. Uh, the problem is with a fixed resistance um, you know you're always going to be running um, low on the temp so if you run into an overheat situation your engine or computer won't know it and you could cause some trouble. Um, but there are some powered versions of this on the market. So this one has a lead um, and a little chip inside that will you know, plug into your 12 volt source to the battery. And then the chip will monitor your temps actually. So if you do go into an overheat situation, um, it'll override that uh, function where it'll try to trick the computer into thinking your engine's running colder and it'll actually send proper or actual temperature reading to the computer so you, uh, the ECU will detect an overheat situation then. Um, so that's the one thing I like about you know these active systems. Um, so yeah let's go plug it plug this in and then go for a test drive and then see if this was worth it. Um, about $100 to buy this um, 
part. Um, I went with VCM Tuner because it was stock at the time I was looking for, it was in stock, you know, when I was looking for this product. Um, and the shipping was really quick. Um, it took me only two days to uh, receive the product. So yeah, let's install this and uh, see how it drives. All right, so we got the engine bay opened up. The instructions say to secure the unit to the little battery holder post, but in the TLX at least, you know, you have the air box on the way. I couldn't sandwich it um, back here, um, but there was just just enough space um, between the battery and you know the front air intake for me to sandwich it in, in there. So I just put it in there. Um, the unit has to be in this type of orientation because I think there is some type of accelerometer in there that uh, manipulates some of the functions. Um, if you're to stop um, idling, um, it has like an idle um, ability so you can at least um, you know run um, you know uh, normal operating parameters when you're not moving. And then as soon as you accelerate again, um, it'll go back into that VCM disabling mode. Um, so I got the unit there, and then all you got to do is attach the red uh, wire lead to the 12 volt positive source. So I'll do that, and then your ECT sensor um, should be uh, somewhere down here. So you'll see the plug that looks similar to the wire lead. Um, so it's that one uh, down there. So I'm gonna unplug that and then attach the harness and then we should be good to go. Okay, we're all connected. We got the 12 volt hooked up right there. And then the sensor, um, got that plugged in. So uh, it's a bit of a tight fit, so you might have some issues on uh, unplugging the old one, but it wasn't too bad. And then I also kind of zip tied everything together. Um, that way, you know, none of your um, harnesses or whatever are touching the hot block or the coolant pipe. So yeah, everything's uh, fitted nice and well. So let's uh, fire up the engine, see if we uh, have no codes and we'll take it for a test drive. All right, time to start the car. Uh, all right, that's good. No check engine light. Uh, let's, let, let's let the engine warm up a little bit. Um, so we get the coolant temp gauge over there. And then uh, once it's up to speed, we're up, up to temp for a little bit and we'll uh, start to test drive. All right, here's just an initial reaction. So the temp gauge is going up, but it's going up so slow. Normally, you know, in a hot day like this when it's 90 degrees, um, you know, we're up to quarter of the way up on the gauge already. Um, but we're just barely getting below the zero mark. Um, so that probably has to do with the resistance in the circuit that they're adding, why it's going up so slow. Um, so, you know, the real temp could be probably 100 degrees higher than, it's what, what, than what it's reading right now. Um, but yeah, so I was a little concerned that, you know, maybe the unit was broken and the temp wasn't moving at all. But you can see that you know temp is slowly going up so yeah units working fine and i think it's actually doing its job so once the car is fully warmed up we'll see how high the needle ends up going um and then i mean my gut reaction based on this coolant uh temperature reading is that i don't think vcm is going to kick in so uh yeah let's kind of drive around a little bit let the engine warm up and then see what happens all right, so I've been driving around for like 10 minutes now and I love this product already. Um, I'm in econ mode right now. And before an econ, I used to, you know, uh, dip into the three cylinder mode all the time and the car would just shake. And then when it's a three cylinder mode between, and a transmission is shifting, like sometimes you would get this weird hesitation. Um, I think it was between third and fourth gear, like all the time, it, it would just, be like a delayed shift like but now uh, i don't know uh, it's just shifting like a normal car there's no hesitation um everything's just uh shifting normally um the car is smooth there's no more shaking that's the best part um and then i can go normal in sport mode and then same thing um 
you know, full power all the time, it's smooth, um, and then I'm not really seeing any side effects or um, negative uh, behaviors right now. So yeah, for anyone who has a Honda V6 uh, J series, um, the J series is, I love this engine, it's powerful, smooth, quiet, um, but when you add the VCM to it, it completely just neuters the J series. And then um, also with the TLX, I heard a lot of people um, complain about the combo of that ZF9 speed with the V6, saying that the ZF behavior was kind of glitchy sometimes. It was just not a good uh, training to pair with the J series. Um, but I think now with the VCM disabled, uh, the tranny and the engine are working like a combo how it should have been um, straight out you know, from the factory. So yeah, anyone on the fence about whether to get any of these VCM disabling systems, whether it's the VCM tuner, the VC muzzler, or the SVCM, or whatever, um, I highly recommend that feature. Um, yeah, definitely go for it. And then hopefully Honda in the future, they if they still offer V6 um, engines um, going forward, um, you know, they uh, allow the owner to, you know, somehow disable it within the vehicle settings. But until that happens, I'm glad that there's some uh, aftermarket products available to uh, help the customer disable that. So yeah, um, I'm happy with this unit and happy to report that, you know, it makes the car uh, much more enjoyable to drive and own. Um, if you found this video uh, helpful, uh, you know, please like and subscribe and I'll try to uh, post up some more uh, useful tips and tricks and how-tos. Alright, one final thought. So, I just did a quick uh, loop on a rural highway, kind of like staying at consistent 60 mile an hour speed uh, with traffic. And I gotta say, there is no detriment to fuel economy. Uh, you can see I did a 3.7 mile loop. Uh, and I was getting 35 mpg, it's kind of dropping now since I'm idling. Um, but yeah, this thing is amazing. Um, there is no degradation in fuel economy. Um, and you get full power, smoothness all the time. So yeah, I love this product. Um, Honda, please stop um, equipping your V6s with the VCM and, or at least give you know users the option to disable it. All right, thanks for watching guys.